What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got a quick thing to talk to you about today. It's called bump steer and all of us solid front axle guys could potentially have this problem, especially if you're lifting your vehicle or in my case, going from lifted back to uh, or less of a lift. I'm leveled now instead of lifted. So I bought the truck, stock suspension, then I put three inch coils on it and a two inch leveling kit. So I had five inches total of lift. So I got uh, an adjustable drag link bar and the drag link um, centers the axle back under the truck. I'll show you all the pieces and parts here in a second, but there's this little thing called a pitman arm. And this one has got quite a bit of a drop on it. This is made for lifts. Uh, if you're going just three inches, you don't need to worry about buying one of these. Anything above that, you're going to need one. Most lift kits come with one. Uh, this came with the kit that I bought and I left it on the truck when I took the leveling kit off. So I had five inches, now I'm back to three inch coils, uh, basically just a leveled truck. Um, so I no longer needed that pitman arm, but I didn't change it to begin with and it created bump steer. And what happens with bump steer is when you go over a bump and your axle moves uh, uh, different than the truck, your steering wheel is gonna shake. Uh, I don't think I have a video of steering wheel shaking because I got it changed as fast as possible, but I'll show you what causes bump steer here in just a second. So guys, here is a stock pitman arm. And here is the one that I had. You can see big difference in the angle. So this one actually you, if you flipped this over, then this would drop down, thus compensating for the lift on the vehicle. So the reason you have this is so that this drag link and this, or sorry, this track bar and this drag link are parallel with each other. You want them on the same slope down from the frame to the axle. If they are different than each other, and I'll put a picture up right here, that's what causes the bump steer because they can't move uh, at the same rate. So this pushes your steering wheel more than the axle moves. So as you can Those see, are pretty right much now. dead even now. They have some bends in them, so it's not like perfect. But as you can see, those are pretty close together. And I have a picture I'll post up that shows them with the old pitman arm on there. They were not even close. And that's what's going to cause bump steer. So guys, if you're going to lift your vehicle, make sure you do it properly and like i said anything from stock height to about three inches of lift three inch coils three inch spacer whatever you go with you're good with the stock pitman arm but anything above that i would definitely recommend getting a drop pitman arm or buy a lift kit that has one with it you know spend the money do it right because it's really dangerous to have bump steer and it's not necessary at all uh, if you buy a kit or put the pieces together yourself buy all the pieces do it right the first time especially if you were towing a trailer and you have some bad bump steer that can be really 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 dangerous so um guys thanks for watching i hope you all have a blessed day and stay tuned for weekly content i try to post every sunday sometimes more if i can but um hit that like button please subscribe for more content and we'll see you later